I am alive. I'm here. I know I've been MIA off of YouTube for I think like a freaking month and a half. This has got to be the longest I've been MIA on YouTube. So I'm going to do a disclaimer right now. If I am all over the place, which is not unusual, but if I kind of like sound all off is because I haven't filmed in forever. Like right now I was going to set a backdrop and everything and I was like, you know what? No, I'm just going to film because I just showered and I threw my hair up. It's still a little damp. Threw on my sweater and I'm like, I'm going to get this video up because I have been stalling and stalling and stalling saying, okay, I'll film it tomorrow. I'll film it tomorrow. And I'm like, you know what? Let's freaking do this. So I'm going to talk to you guys about some of my favorites. Um... I don't want to say monthly favorites because I've actually been using some of these for a few months now. These are just products that I have been loving, that I have been using. Some of these, um, I know I for sure have mentioned them on Snapchat. If you guys miss me and you wonder where I'm at, I would suggest that you guys follow me on Snapchat because I am on there pretty much every day. Sometimes I do go MIA like... Ugh, Two weeks ago, I think I got like a really bad flu. I was MIA for like five days. Some of you guys actually asked where I was. You were like messaging me and I love you guys for that. So before I get into um, my current favorites, um, you're going to hear a little bell in the background walking around and that is because I got a new puppy. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you all know. Come here, pony. Come here. Let me grab him for you guys. Come here. Come here. So he is going to be my current favorite. This is pony. <laughs> pony, say hi. Say hi. This is Pony. He is a toy long-haired chihuahua. He's about a pound and six ounces right now. He is almost three and a half months. He is an early birthday present for my husband slash Christmas because that's how much he costs. He's probably a present for the rest of the freaking year. But um, we actually did look into adopting, but because I do have a female chihuahua, 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 chihuahua. Now that sounds weird. Because I do have a female one. They say that she's very... um alpha and aggressive so I was trying to adopt like a pit or something like that because poor babies those in chihuahuas are usually very endangered at least in my area and not endangered what the hell am I saying I'm telling you guys this video is going to be all over the place but they're the ones that get abandoned the most and end up in the shelters so I did try a couple times I even went back like a month and a half later to the thing and they would not have let me adopt this one and she was still there her name was um oh my god I freaking forgot her name Alice was it Alice no I'm lying to you guys Ugh. I totally spaced on her name, but I really did try because a lot of you guys were like, why didn't you adopt? I did try, I swear, and then they were like, well, you got to bring your dog, and it was such a hassle, and then I just one night randomly strolled into the uh, pet store, and I play with the dogs, get my fix, and then I go home because I know how Chanel is, but this night, you guys, I'm like, after I play with this, like, teacup Yorkie, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like five grand, so I'm like, oh no, so I walk by, and then I see this little freaking thing, and he was a little smaller, too, I see this little guy fighting with the bigger dog, like, playing, and I about freaked out, because he is literally what Chanel looks like, because he's a chihuahua with short little legs, and long hair, and I think Chanel might be mixed, Chanel's like seven, seven and a half pounds, um, the pet store told me that he would be roughly no more than six pounds. Well, when I took him to the vet, the vet laughed and said that she'd be surprised if he hits four pounds. So pretty much he's going to be double this size and that's it. Like you guys, he is freaking tiny. I'm trying to see what's around here that I can put side by side. I know. So this is Mac Fix Plus, right? You guys, just so you get an idea of how tiny he is, look at this. Because I want you guys to see how tiny he is. Because my sister was like, oh my god, he looked tiny in, in the pictures and the videos, but he's a lot smaller. So yes, this is Pony, and my husband named him because the colors on him, he looks like a freaking little pony, and he's so cute. And yesterday he learned how to sit. Pony! And he has like little facial expressions to where he looks like he's, he's mean mugging. Look at that. You mean like in the YouTube family, Papas? So we have a little bell on him because he's so little and we can run him over. I think three months ago I dyed my hair red and then I ended up dyeing it black. And because I did dye it red, I had to bleach it and it actually damaged my hair. And I'm pissed because... <sighs> I'm just pissed, right? So I've been trying to grow it out because I'm going to trim it. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of baby hair that has been growing out and I usually try to look for shampoos that are going to help grow my hair and I do use Ovation, I've used it, but it can be a little pricey sometimes for you guys. Um, there was the Shea Moisture 10 in 1 or something like that I've mentioned before. Well, um, I couldn't find it at Target one day and then I saw this guy right here which is a biotin and collagen thickening shampoo. It has uh, vitamin B7, biotin infused nutrients into every strand while collagen and keratin create thick, full, beautiful hair. It's got like, uh, it's sulfate free, dye free, 
hot like all that bad stuff it's got a pump I believe this is only like seven dollars and when I went they had buy one get one half off or something like that at Target this is a lot this is 32 full ounces and it actually smells pretty it smells really really good it's not like a weird smell and it does fizz up when you do it because sometimes when you don't have like a pair of rims and all that nasty stuff they don't fizz up as well and I have trouble because I feel like I'm not washing my hair but this is really good this is by Ren Pure Originals um, and everything always is listed down below if I have links if I can find links I link it for you guys but this is um, a product that I've been using for I want to say about two or three months now and my daughter stole the first one so I had to go buy a new one next I'm going to move into a face stuff skincare and then we'll leave the makeup for last because there's not much um, I actually got this I don't know six to eight months ago Dulce Candy mentioned this it's a everyday coconut face toner um, I used to use the C Booth tea tree toner tongue twister but they discontinued it and sometimes toners are pretty harsh for me but um Dulce mentioned this a while back and I bought it and at first I didn't like the smell but then I like needed a toner and I'm like let's try this again and I started using this and I freaking love it it's not harsh it re it's very refreshing I believe it's all organic um no animal testing vegan it says soy and gluten free non-gmo domestic packaging all good stuff I got at Whole Foods this is by uh, everyday coconut face toner did I tell you guys I think I paid um, is that focusing on there I think I pay like seven or eight dollars for this and this is also a uh, pretty big 12 full ounces I've been using this for a while now and I believe my husband and daughter sometimes use this too um, I did recently buy their face wash because I like this so much I had to stop it because in a week I noticed that my face was like, I mean, super dry. And even my husband, he's oily. So I had to discontinue it because the face wash, even though it did cleanse my face really good, it was too harsh and it was dry in my face. So this is a must if you guys are in, you know, uh, in the lookout for a face toner. Another face product that I've been using and actually a lot of you guys hit me up on Snapchat and said that you love this. This is the Rose Hip Seed Oil. This is the 100% pure and certified organic. I think I paid like eight bucks. This is actually half away now. So I forget her name, Alana or A. Torres or something like that. This beautiful girl um, on YouTube, I found her a couple months ago, mentioned this and then I looked it up in all the reviews and I was like, okay, I gotta try it. So I went to like an organic store that just opened by my house and they had this and you guys this stuff is freaking amazing it does smell um like roses you know like the rose smell not like the sweet smell but like that rose like thorn uh stem when you cut it that rose rose smell um that's what it smells like and this one is a little tinted as you guys can see and i guess when it is tinted like this it's pure and and um cold press I don't know why they say it has to be cold press I'm not for sure I didn't look too much into that but I do know that it should be 100% pure and organic um what I do is um I do this about two or three times a week now that my face isn't as dry because I got it the same time that I got the face wash from that one it was the same store um I press this into my skin after my toner and I just sleep with it and you guys it gives you the most beautiful glow it's like stunning my daughter um recently started using it too and she said that she's noticed a difference with her acne scars here she got off of um oh my god i forgot that like super crazy um acne medication um I forgot the name of it, but it's like hardcore. We had to sign our life away for her to get on it. But that like completely, and she had oily skin, and that completely just soaked all the oils out of her face. And she's been using this and loving it. Um, I'm not using it every night like I was, but I did notice that it's getting a little cold, so I'm starting to get a little more dry. So I'll probably be, I'll probably use this every other day, but at least two or three times a day. And sometimes I do mix this in with my Benigma because I do use my Benigma every night unless I was doing this. And then the other nights I did mix them. So this stuff is amazing. And I believe it's good for like anybody because it's all organic and 100% pure. Moving to face. Um, I got this Clinique uh, Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizing Primer. Uh, Jordan Liberty, I believe it is, mentioned this little guy. And I looked it up. The reviews were amazing. What it is, it's pretty much like a primer, but it's also a moisturizer. Um, I like this for days that I'm in a rush. Can you guys see that? Is it going to focus for me? When I'm in, a, I'm almost like halfway on it. Can you guys see? 
there we go so it's like a light soft pink color it's like a balm it almost feels like a balm but like on days that I'm not worried about like filling in every freaking pore and all that and I just want to get like a quick all-in-one I do this and it's literally $29 which for Clinique I don't think it's bad and there's a lot of product in there I want to say here we go 1.7 ounces which is really really good I want to say it is $29 but I'll have it down below I really like it because it's super hydrating and it kind of smooths everything out it's not like a pore filler perfecter but it will kind of blur out um some of the fine lines great i got something in my eye but not like completely blurred out but it does do a very soft blur effect i totally freaking recommend this next i don't even know how this has gone away for so long because i have been obsessed with this product for months and i'm about a quarter away from being completely out um and the reason i started using this is because um i got a gem beauty bag when i went back in january or april January and Laura Lee mentioned that she had been using this I'm like hey I got that in my Gen Beauty swag bag so I pulled it out and you guys I'm telling you if there's anything out of this that I'm telling you to get it's definitely this this is the Believe um, True Cream Aqua Bomb they do have a cream but this stuff is amazing go to the Sephora website I'll link it down below and you guys can look up the reviews and oh my god it's like this gel kind of feel i think it is gel actually it's an aqua bomb i want to say it's like a gel it doesn't feel like a lotion all thick it's very lightweight so this is so hydrating and you can see that glow it gives to your face so um normally i do my benigma and i let that set in for about five to ten minutes before i start my routine but if i don't have time i literally pop this on and this soaks into your skin within two or three minutes i would say give it two or three minutes so it completely soaks in this is just amazing i don't even know what kind of benefits other than the moisture level is really high let me see if i can see here I don't know it's weightless yes and it's very hydrating yeah it's a refreshing gel here we go I just know that this stuff is bomb 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 get a sample at Sephora it's just very hydrating it's quick it's like a great moisturizer for under if you don't want to do like a thick lotion or anything like that or even at night just throughout the whole freaking day sometimes when I just get out the bath I do my toner and this and I'm set this is freaking bomb and it's pretty affordable um it is I want to say like maybe 32 34 bucks and you get a ton i've been using this for at least i want to say five to six months now it's amazing though so next because i grabbed this and it's almost gone i'm like you know what i need to mention this i don't even know because bath and body always switches their stuff up depending on the season what are you doing and I don't know if they have this, but if they do, this is the Cashmere Glow, um, I want to say the perfume. I have the body spray, but the perfume, every time I wear this, everybody is like, what is that? I can't even explain it. I don't want to say it's vanilla because it's not vanilla. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's just freaking amazing. I'm almost out. And I actually got this when they had like the sale. Hang on, the dog's eating something. Honey, drop it. So yes, back to this. I got this when they had their sale at the end of like last December or something like that. So I literally just... <laughs> you girls know what I mean. But this stuff, don't really spray your cha-cha because you'll probably break out or some shit. But um, this is yummy. They do have the body spray. It's a little lighter. But this stuff is also a must-have. So now kind of getting into the makeup, I'm going to move into my uh, Slay All Day. I've used up the peach one and another one but recently I told her I was like hey I ran out of my peach one can you send me lemongrass because I tried it somewhere I think when I was at um fame expo I smelled lemongrass so when I ran out I was like okay I want it you guys I've smelled all the scents and lemongrass is freaking bomb like it's soft refreshing and hydrating and I literally like you guys and then I have they have the miniature size one so I carry one in my purse and then this one when I apply my foundation I dot my foundation then I spray this and then I blend it in so it kind of locks it all in and then after I'm done with all my makeup I spray it throughout the day I spray it I spray this on for the highlight and everything like this stuff is bomb I don't think I've used anything else like in the past months other than my sleigh all day i love 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 lemongrass is freaking bomb and this is actually a new one i think this is the tea slash ginger 
This one smells a little stronger, but look how cute that little bottle is. One fluid ounce, travel friendly, purse friendly, everything friendly. And then the big one's 3.38. And I always have a discount code. Another thing is that the little trio that they have like this, if you have friends or family that you want to like do stocking stuffers or create like a cute little gift basket, they have the trio pack. So you can buy the, the trio pack and then just divide them up and make cute little baskets. I don't know. That's something I'm probably going to do. So yes, I approve. I love and lay all day i picked this up i think at fame expo gem beauty sometime i don't recall everybody and their mama has talked about the rcma no color powder everybody was obsessed with the laura laura mercier uh translucent powder i am but after i got my hands on this you guys holy moly this stuff here is is, I don't even know. I don't want to say amazing or bomb because I probably said that like 30 times. This stuff is something you need. It's 10 bucks for this whole thing. And the only reason it's that low is because I put half of that into my makeup kit for when I, um, you know, do makeup. Like I recently did my girlfriend's makeup and I touched her up. Um, and what I like about it is that you set the makeup and everything, but later if you need a touch up, it doesn't get cakey or it doesn't build up or look all funky or clumpy funky or clumpy that rhymed it's bomb and i just feel like when i go here because this is where i have like the biggest pores around my face when i set that it blurs them out like if you press it in with the damp beauty blender and right here where i have my 11s you press it in with that damp beauty blender it's going to blur it gives that blur effect is what i'm trying to say um I'm pretty sure you can get it now. It was sold out for months. This is three ounces. If you live in California, go to Namie's or one of those beauty stores because I'm sure they'll have it. Totally worth it. Better than the 20 something dollar for the small travel size Laura one. This is a Maria proof forever. Holy grail must have. Three more things. Three more things. Um, this e.l.f. brow pencil, and I don't recall what color this is, but uh, I want to say it's medium brown. Um, because the NYX pencils are $10, and I go through brow pencils like every two weeks, I lately have been buying this $2 brow pencil, and I just outline, and then I use my Gerard Cosmetics powder to fill it in, and they might look dark to some of you guys, but you got to keep in mind I have black hair, and my, my hair here is black, so I'm going like a a taupey brown you know and then I just fill them in but I really like this like I've gone through every pencil pomade powder whatever you guys want to call out like I've gone through it all and I am surprised by this this is not a bad little guy to have if you are somebody that you know is bald in the brow area like myself and you go through them like water so that is the elf brow pencil in medium brown Lastly, two items here because I'm going to die. You all know I am a big fan of the L'Oreal Telescopic um, mascara, but lately I just, since I haven't been wearing much mascara, I haven't been going out and buying them and doing the couponing thing or whatever, but my daughter usually gets this Essence um, I, Lo I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. These are five bucks, you guys. This little guy is what I actually used today for my lashes. Um, the wand is thicker than the L'Oreal Telescopic, but it kind of has the same, not technique, the same, um, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. The wand is just thicker um, here because it's got that little rubber uh, wand texture, not texture. I can't talk, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. But it's kind of like that same rubbery wand. That's what I'm trying to say. But this one's just a little thicker and it's half the price. I've been loving it. It does, you know, separate the lashes as you guys can see. Sometimes people ask me if I'm wearing falsies. No, these are actually my lashes. So I just do a coat of this and then I lightly just go over with the Better Than Sex Too Face Mascara and voila. Lastly are these Essence Gel Nail Polishes. I have more. Yes, I do. I just recently bought the pink one too. These guys are $1.99 and I picked this one up, which is my favorite, which is called in the, oh, Dream On. Um, and you guys, I was blown away by the quality and beauty of these little guys. They go on so smooth. They're nice and thick. They, I noticed that they did chip more on my toes, maybe because I have rough ass feet than my hands, but I do you know get my nails done but um they do last now i noticed the other day that they have the bottom coat and the uh the base coat and the top coat which i've never used because i never picked it up but 
I will try it out and see if it gives me a longer uh, wear doing the base coat and the top coat than these on their own. But they're amazing and they actually added more colors to the collection. This is the one I'm probably going to do for um, Christmas here. But I truly, truly love these. They're only a freaking buck ninety nine, and the little uh, brush is nice and thick so it hugs your nail. That's pretty much it. I know my camera's about to die and I wanted to film this for you guys. Don't forget that everything will be listed down below. I will be back with a freaking cool video on this new mirror that I've been testing out that was sent to me. You guys, this is like on a whole other level type of mirror. But I love you guys. Please don't forget about me. Highlighters are coming super soon. We are so close, you guys. Like, so close. I know a lot of you guys are like, ah! I'm actually wearing uh, one of my highlighters right now. Very gently, I'm wearing um, one of my favorite highlighters out of the trio. I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.